Hi, Mr. Nelson here with Core Plus Aerospace. Today we're going to continue on riveting and talking about Clicos. And today, since we're in the shop, I am going to be wearing my safety glasses as we're working here in the shop. So uh, we're going to be working with one of my favorite tools in all of aerospace that you're going to be working with in this Core Plus class is a tool called a Clico. A Clico. Uh, a funny name, and I'll tell you later on how it got that name. But first, let me explain what a Clico does. So here I have two pieces of aluminum that I've drilled holes in, and I'm ready to fasten these two pieces of aluminum together with my riveting. But before I do that, I have to be able to clamp and hold these two pieces together so they don't move and they're in exactly the right alignment. And to do that, I'm going to use a Clico. So what is a Clico? This is a Clico wrench and this is a Clico right here. And a Clico, I, it's spring loaded it's a temporary removable fastener that can hold together our two pieces of metal while we're doing our riveting. Why is that important? Because when you're drilling or riveting, there can be slight debris that gets inside in between these two pieces of metal. And if this is on an airplane, and if there's debris between those two pieces of metal, and this is rubbing slightly, rubbing slightly, rubbing slightly, that can compromise the metal, and it causes stress, and causes the metal to fatigue and possibly crack. Airplanes are designed to last for 40 years, so that's why it's very important that this is held together tightly as you're putting our rivets in. So I take my Clico, and this is a number 30 Clico. It's going to go in these smaller holes there on the side, and I just insert it in, release the spring, and that's held tightly in, in place. That is nice and tight. So when I'm going to be getting this prepared for riveting, and even when you're drilling, you want to go through and do your Clicoing. I go through and I put in a Clico, say every three to four of my holes. So I'll move this out of the way. I'm gonna put this in my vise. I'm gonna put in some more Clicos on the sides here. I have different size holes. And in countersinks, you can use your Clicos. Goes on the wrench, pull the spring back, set in a Clico. When I'm starting off, I even start off with an angled Clico that can come on the side, and I'm going to put another Clico on this side. So now I have these tightly held together. Debris not going to be getting in between there. This is tightly held together and ready for me to start riveting. Now the word Clico. I mentioned that earlier. The word Clico, where did that come from? I just searched it up myself and found out that Clico was developed by the Cleveland Pneumatic Tool Company, hence the name Clico.